Hello there! In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to capture your VTuber from VTube Studio to OBS. So we are going to be setting up the new spout capture method that was just introduced in the recent VTube Studio update, which has a variety of benefits including reducing your CPU usage during use, as well as not having those pesky menus show up whenever you need to tweak anything on your VTube Studio during streaming or recording. So our first step to setting this up will be in VTube Studio. What you're going to want to do is open up your settings, which is the pink cog here. Hover over to the camera settings, which is the second tab. And we want to scroll all the way down till we find the Spout 2 config. Now make sure to update your VTube Studio to the latest version or this menu will not be here. And what we're going to want to do is simply click Activate Spout 2. Our next step will actually involve installing the plugin into OBS. You can access the website either by clicking Install Spout 2 right here. It will pop up with this window and we can click More Info to get to the installation page. Or I will have all of the links in the description below including the text tutorial as well as the download link. So first we need to go to the download page, which is the releases page. And you should see right here that there is the OBS Spout 2 plugin install. Currently this is version 1.8, however this may be different if you're watching this at a different time. Go ahead and run that executable once it's downloaded and you might see your PC pop up with a Windows protected your PC or something along those lines you just want to click run anyway, or there might be another button which says more info, which will allow you to click run anyway on there. Next, you're going to see this installer pop up on your screen. You just want to click through this, go through all of the license and such. Just keep clicking next until you get to the end. Now, a very important step to bear in mind, it will ask you to pick your install location. Make sure this is where your OBS Studio is installed. So it should default to the C drive, which is where most people have their OBS installation. However, if you have this on a separate drive, then please make sure that this is the correct file path. Finally, you'll want to start your OBS and you should be able to see a new source available. If you click the plus to add a source as normal, there will be a new Spout 2 capture button. So this is what we're going to use to actually capture VTube Studio from now on. Click on that and create a new spout capture. You can name it whatever you want. And we're going to see the properties pop up on the screen in the middle. So there's a couple of things to note about this. First, we have the spout sender. So if you're only using one spout output, you can leave this at the default use first available. However, if you, for example, have more than one model running with two spout captures, you can open that up and click which specific one you want to have captured on this particular spout. Next is the composite mode. It will default to opaque, but bear in mind this won't give you a transparent background. If you want to have it transparent, click on any of the other options. I usually put it on default. However, if you wanted to use your background on VTube Studio, then you can keep this as opaque. And now we've officially set up our capture into OBS. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give us a like. And if you would like more tutorials from myself, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in more VTube Studio related videos, I do have a playlist which will pop up right here. Please go and check those out and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.